90% of my job is data and numbers and actually trying to um, show the efficacy of the dollars that my clients are investing or I'm investing on my, on my client's behalf. Uh, I don't think that there's, the data um, is kind of going, to, going to go anywhere. Um, measurement is going to continue to be important and the way we define our target audiences with that data is going to continue to be something that we are trying to improve and optimize over time. But I think it's really refreshing to take a step back and actually put ourselves in the shoes of the individual on the other side of the table, the consumer, but also in partnership with the person creating the message. You know, I think we heard a lot of really good ideas from the, some of the creative folks in the room that talked about the notion of, you know what, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter whether I'm creating something for a 30 or a 15 or a six, let's not put a box around it, let's actually talk about what the message is going to be. And I, I think that's, you know, that's an incredibly salient point to make. Um, we are so focused on buying impressions at the lowest common denominator, um, we're just doing ourselves a disservice as an industry. From the agency perspective, because we buy it, and on the partner perspective, because they're trying to find more opportunities to just monetize impressions without any notion of what that impression actually is. And if we can actually spend some time being a little bit more empathetic to the consumer and thinking about, okay, is this impression also adding value to the consumer in some way? Are they spending time with it in a meaningful way? How can we buy for that? As opposed to just buying for these snapshot moments that, you know, inevitably as a marketer, to actually make any headway for our clients, we need to buy an increasing number of those, you know, especially as things progress and ad clutter just becomes more and more of a problem in our industry. Any data person, they're only as strong as their numbers. And I, I would argue in a lot of cases that the data from a, from a measurement perspective is nowhere near 100%. And there are still there are still big chinks in that armor that you know make the data argument um, not flawless, and, uh, I, and and that's where you know a lot of times um, I think misdirections can happen. Uh, I, we we see it all the time. You know, either people relying too much on last click attribution or not thinking about multi-touch attribution in a in a in a productive way, even though I'm totally understanding that there are limitations with all forms of measurement as they currently exist, at least not acknowledging the, the gaps in that measurement when looking at the data, I think is doing us a disservice. And then also, you know, we can talk about the efficacy of media, but we shouldn't ignore the efficacy of um, the message that is appearing in that media. And I think that's something that we could do a better job of as well in working with creative partners to actually do better testing of what mes messages resonate with consumers in a, in a meaningful way. Like, what, are, what are the messages that are actually going to get a consumer to think about a brand in a really cluttered category, be it insurance or automotive or even what movie am I going to see this weekend? You know, there's there's a, a lot that we could be doing better in from a, even from from that perspective as well when it comes to measurement, not just measurement of media, but measurement of creative. We're ignoring a, a growing part of the marketing mix that you know we're not part of currently, but you know could play an important role, and that's around content, that's around um, customer relationship marketing, that's around PR and events. There's those investments are growing as well. I think because brands, I think a lot of smart brands are understanding the, the, the importance of creating experiences, um, not just for their current customers, but for also pros prospective customers as well. Um, because they're probably seeing, they're probably grappling with their own um, notions of why am I paying more for these impressions that are getting less eyeballs when I'm not really fully understanding what these impressions are doing. And so in that, in, that, in that same vein, you know, in what we're talking about, you know, um, experience mark, experiential marketing or PR or, or whatnot, um, how can we bring some of those elements into the work that we do?